Okay, so in this video, we're going to see some worked examples for parallel lines and transversals. And as a reminder, I'm not going to review all the names of the, of the uh, angle pairs that we get out of here. They are in the previous video. There's a link to that video in the description if you want to go back and see the names of them. However, uh, we are dealing with problems where I have two parallel lines, put little errors on the end, and a transversal, and setting up pairs of angles. The shortcut to sort of get the right numerical answer is to realize one of two things happens. Either they're the same, so all of these angles marked as x will be the same, all of these angles marked as Y, actually let me not use blue, let me use green, will be the same. Or, or, if I have an X and a Y, then I would add them together and make it equal 180 degrees. So either I set it equal to each other, or I add them up to 180, one or the other. So let's see six examples make sure this makes sense. So here's the first one. I notice, let me get the right color, there we go. I notice this angle here, that angle there. They both appear to be acute. That means I know that they will be equal. So x will equal 81 degrees, and that's it. If I want to name them, I see that they are on different sides of the transversal. So that is the word alternate not alter met, alter net. I see that they are outside of the two parallel lines, so that is the word exterior. So these are alternate exterior angles. Okay, another one. I see this 103 degree angle. I see this X. I notice the 103 degree angle is obtuse. The X is acute. So that tells me to follow the rule x plus 103 is equal to 180. I'll subtract 103 from both sides. And that will give me x is equal to 77 degrees. Alternately, I could see that, okay, these are on the same side of the transversal. In this case, both to the right side. So this is a same side. And it, they are both between the two parallel lines, so same side interior angles. Okay, another one. I see 116 degrees. I see this X. I notice that both angles are obtuse. They're sort of wider than 90 degrees. And that lets me know to just say, okay, X equals 116 degrees. Done. I could also have noticed that this one, I don't care about this line and this intersection at all. So this means it's one of our previous angle pairs. And if I have this angle pair where I have crossing lines and angles on opposite sides of that, this angle pair is referred to as vertical angles. Okay. Here we go again. So um, I see the 73 degree angle. I see X right here. This, they both look acute, which lets me know they both look acute. Let's make them the same. If Whenever we have this diagram, that's how it works out. So X will equal 73 degrees, and that's it. If I want to name it, I notice that they are on the same side of everything. So they're both to the left of the transversal, and it's above both of the parallel lines. I could also see um, this F shape, sort of flipped around F shape with my two angles, and that lets me know that these are corresponding angles. Okay, so in this one, we want to find the value of x in the diagram below. I see 
x, I see 81 degrees. Like with the last problem, I don't use this at all. Well, not the last problem, but two problems ago. Um, so this is one of our previous angle pairs. I see x looks obtuse, whereas 81 degrees is definitely acute. So that lets me know I should follow this x plus 81 equals 180. I'll subtract 81 from both sides, and that will give me x is equal to 99 degrees. If I wanted to give it a name, this is one of the previous angle pairs, and I see these two angles that actually form a straight line when put together, so this is a linear pair. All right, final example. Find the value of x in the diagram below. In this, I notice that I have x and 80 degrees. They both appear to be acute, so I can use that rule say, okay, if they both appear to be acute, then I know that they both actually have to be equal in this diagram. So x will equal 80 degrees, and I'm done. If I want to name it, I can see that they are on different sides of the transversal. So that's the term alternate. I keep on putting an M there. I don't know why. I see that they are both between the parallel lines, so that's alternate interior. And so these are alternate interior angles. Okay, there is going to be a link to the original video if you want to see the description of each of these angle pairs. There's also going to be a link to a worksheet so you can get some more practice with this.